So uh, for diagram A, this is the word description, majority of the stars plotted on upper left part of the main sequence. And it says the rest of the stars of the main sequence. And I'm on this page because this looks like uh, this is um, what it, it, this uh, that appearance of this diagram fits the description there. And this is what's described as a young cluster HR diagram. So that's diagram A. Diagram B says majority of its stars plotted on the lower right part of the main sequence and then rest of the stars of the main sequence. Let's go find a diagram that looks like it. Um, this is a little bit iffy. Um, this maybe, I, I don't know. Is there something better? Okay, this is a little bit better. So lower right on the main sequence and the rest of the main sequence. And it's describing this as an older cluster. And that's where this uh, question comes in. It's uh, the question of, um, so main sequence is where stars will most of their life. If uh, everything is on the main sequence, then that's a kind of, I don't know, middle age cluster. And <laughs> there is no clear evidence of how old it is. Um, when stars are off the main sequence, it's the question of, are they still contracting and haven't reached it yet? Or have they burned out the nuclear fuel at the core and are they going through the red giant stages and so on? So here you are seeing the heavier mass uh, and more luminous stars having gone off the main sequence into the red giant stage. And above where we called the cluster young, what we are seeing is the heavier stars have collapsed enough to be on the main sequence but the lighter stars, they are still collapsing. They haven't started the nuclear fusion in the core yet. So, yeah. So, so with that, I think you can answer. I won't uh, answer it myself.